On-screen diversity is on the rise in Hollywood, making it one of the only areas in which the world may not be going to hell. Which is why Marvel fans were thrilled to hear about the new blockbuster superhero movie, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Little did we know the star of the film would be from our very own sleepy lakeside town of Toronto. It's our, you know, our great honor today to welcome to the show the Marvel Cinematic Universe's newest leading man, Simu Lewis. <laughs> Marvel has been at the forefront of an important advancement in modern cinema, representative casting. So how does it feel to be a part of that? Emma, ever since I was a small jack child, I knew I always wanted to be a superhero, but I never saw anybody like me on screen. It feels great to finally represent my people on the big stage. Asian Canadians. People. Yeah. That, I'm that. sorry, uh, did you just say Canadians? That's right. I'm the very first Canadian lead of their very own Marvel Cinematic Universe film. Maybe even any film. I haven't checked. Maybe you should check. And yes, the MCU has done an amazing job representing people like me in smaller roles. Your Rachel McAdams is, your Kobe Smolder. But this is the first time a Canadian is taking top billing. And now, a little girl in Montreal or some other backwater will be able to see herself on screen because of me. Now, obviously, Black Panther and Captain Marvel were important for on-screen diversity. But how necessary is it for Canadians to be depicted as superheroes? Oh. Absolutely necessary. American heroes always rush into conflict head first, but where's that classic Canadian passive aggression? You know, that's true. You never saw the Hulk just dismantle Thanos with a single cutting remark at Christmas dinner. You don't see that. Exactly. A Canadian superhero should stop crime the old-fashioned way by using their martial arts prowess to save New York by creating an unstoppable socialized healthcare system. <laughs> Weirdly, that seems more far-fetched than the plot of Avengers Endgame. And Shang-Chi doesn't have any crazy gadgets like Tony Stark or Spider-Man. Just like any other Canadian, he gets by with a simple $70 a month cell phone plan. Is there a scene where he pays data overages? Emma, there's three of them. I have never felt more seen. And here's another benefit of diversity. It's profitable. If Shang-Chi performs well, it can help pave the way for more superhero projects about other Canadians. Wow, are they finally gonna cast a Canadian to play Wolverine? <laughs> I'm not familiar with that title. So, what are we talking here? Well, they are looking for someone to play the new Batgirl. <gasps> really? Who's it gonna be? Well, apparently it's down to two of Canada's best performers, Sandra Oh and Michael Cera. Wow. So, I guess there actually is a benefit to having major Hollywood studios put Canadians firmly in the cultural conversation. Oh, absolutely. I truly believe that one day, there could even be a Canadian Captain America. You mean Captain Canuck? No. See you, everyone.